Lawrence Farron here and Operation Pain in the Ass High Elves are done. I painted these two just tabletop standard. I haven't gone whole hog full Monty on these like I would on my normal miniatures. The um, normally I'd spend at least a week on one miniature like this. Can't get access to the family computer to do my uploads at the moment because the kids are just so good at saying, Dad, can I go on a computer? Give you those puppy eyes and what can you do? But yeah, here we go. The um, bows are painted um, Ushbati bone and then uh, a Griffin sepia wash afterwards. So yeah, and then basically I just gave it a whole figure non-oil wash. Just one of the uh, standard sea guard now. There you go. There's water at the bottom there. That was really tricky to do actually. I was contemplating on actually um, painting that um, in oils to do a blend on it, but. But for the time I got and drying time, I just thought no, just use the acrylic, just put a, put a wash of blue, normal, blue, uh, what do I use, Necron Abyss, one of the old foundation colours from the Citadel paints. I love that colour. It's an awesome colour blue. So yeah, you can't see the highlights on the, on the quivers of the arrows. But all in all, yeah, I did enjoy painting these, you know, as part of the challenge. But um, it was just, um, it gets to a point where it's not so much the blue, I love working with blue, it's the white. And putting on white paint, oh, it's such a pain in the backside. I should have primed these bastards in white and cheated that way. So I've got loads of white primer. But all in all, for this first week, it's been good fun. It's also been good uh, to actually encourage others as well to actually uh, get their, um, you know, their projects underway. Don't give up on it and just, you know, stick to it. You know, it's, it's all in a good cause of, uh, you know, a, a bit of fun. But yeah, on with the cavalry. Shall be starting that tomorrow, Monday, July the eighth. See you guys in. They turned out okay. The, the actual um, dangly, feathery, ribbony bits that I, I used, good old fashioned, um, the old hawk turquoise, because you can't get that in the new GW colours. Nowhere near it. If you were, if you wanted the um, equivalent to the old hawk turquoise, you'd have to buy falcon turquoise from a Vallejo game colour range. There's the musician. Quite pleased with that one. Turned out rather well. Like I kept saying to Ken, you know, if you're going to use gold paint, get the Vallejo liquid gold range. It is a metal pigment alcohol based paint, but no need for putting Balthazar gold on, then putting your Ulrich gold on to highlight it, and then another gold to bloody highlight it. It just goes on one coat and the paint seems just to find all the nooks and crannies where you want it to go. It's just good stuff. And I imagine the other colours work that way as well. I haven't bought any of the uh, metal, like uh, aluminium, silver colour, liquid gold range. Just got the standard gold at the moment. When I get a few more pennies, I'll get the whole range because I think there's six colours all together and if there was a question for day seven to be answered by Warboss Tay I've forgotten what it was and I've already deleted my emails that I've had so sorry Warboss about that but yeah these guys turned out not so bad for a tabletop standard it's nowhere near my like I said my normal standard that I paint Plus, got a lot on my mind at the moment, but I shan't trouble you guys with that anymore. But I do I really, really appreciate your support that you gave me on that. It did help me out a lot, actually. Yeah, uh, there he is. 
this. Da -da -da. Looking good. I just love how the washes, you know, they, f they find their way onto the rims of the gold around their helmets and just hide that little misfire of the brush. Oh, I love washes so much. Yep. Pretty damn cool. So, yeah, this is all done now. Over we go. Put them on there for the bases. Well, just simplistic basing. We have a look on here. Let's get some better light. It's just a standard mix of sand and a large grain sand stuck down with the PVA. And I just painted them all in calcium brown with a light dry brush. But um, when the challenge is over, I'll probably give these a lot more attention and um, get them up to the standard that you guys tend to expect from me. But just for the challenge, I'm just painting to a tabletop standard. But we shall see with the um, cavalry, because I've never painted horses before. So if anyone can give me advice on how to paint horses, all comments welcome as usual. So thank you very much. This is my day seven. I'm going to now vegetate in front of the TV with the wife and scream and shout at the dog because he keeps jumping up on the sofa. And uh, I shall bid you all good night and see you in the challenge tomorrow. So it will be my um, Elrian cavalry, Reavers, whatever you call them. That's going to be.